To combat the drop in revenue, the government has announced $1.8 billion worth of new budget measures. It's planning to save money through a new public sector policy to replace workers who resign or retire with cheaper staff, as well as cuts to information and communications technology spending. And it expects to raise funds by deferring its promise to increase the payroll tax exemption threshold to $850,000. The business community says it's shocked and disappointed by the move. Businesses are struggling, confidence is at a low ebb, costs are rising and uh, in that sort of environment where the economy is transitioning, it's important that the government fosters um, ways in which businesses can grow and develop rather than taxing them. The mid-year review also reveals the government has had to pay Serco an extra $16.7 million as a result of delays to the opening of the Fiona Stanley Hospital. It's also forking out another $11.7 million for IT at the facility. Now, the government hopes to claw back more than a billion dollars by hiring younger, cheaper public servants to replace workers, older workers who resign or retire. Unions have criticised the move and have accused the government of using the public service as a punching bag. The government's calling it workforce renewal. Unions say it's a funding cut pure and simple. This has come as a complete shock. There was no consultation, no discussion and quite frankly we think this will fail. Under the policy, starting from January the 1st, when a public servant leaves, they can only be replaced by someone cheaper. If they're a frontline worker, for instance, police, teachers and nurses, their replacement will be paid 10% less. For non-frontline workers, it'll be 40% less. We have a public sector for a variety of reasons that hasn't had refreshing in it. This is not a plan, this is just simply taking an axe to a workforce that has already been stripped to the bone. It'll further cut back services for people of Western Australia. The government denies its workforce renewal policy is ageist, even though the Treasurer openly concedes it's all about getting younger, cheaper workers into the public service. The opposition is scathing about the new edict. How can you have a wages policy whereby the Premier ups the pay of his own staff by 50%? and cuts all the other public servants pay. How can he do that? The government, is a, the government is a good employer. A good employer. The Premier says more changes to the public service will be announced before next year's budget. Rebecca Carmody, ABC News.